my day started. Today we did a little, um, we're doing a little face care, as you can see. Um, I'll show you what I usually use. I've already done it. Then I thought about, wow, I should vlog this. So, um, what I generally use is, I am a shaver. Um, I suffer for, from a condition called polycystic ovarian syndrome. So, it causes excessive amount of facial hair. So, I am a shaver. And I like to use the Mach Gillette 3, which they turbo. Mach 3. They do not make this anymore. So, I'm fighting and struggling to switch out. I use their body cream for my upper lip. Sometimes I do here. Um, and then under here, I tweeze a few hairs under here. But if it get too bad, if I let it go too long, then um, I use Nair under there as well. Um, I am an avid user of Nalgena. This is my favorite one. This is the uh, Moisturizing Classic Clean. It's the Eucalyptus Extract. Always been a fan of that. Um, also, um, there's other times that I use. Do I have it up here? My mom used to use this all the time. And every now and then, I may use it. This is the St. Eyes. Um, blackhead clearing scrub green tea and bamboo this stuff is good and I noticed if I go a while without using this even using my noxema like my face starts to break out I got a pimple there I got a couple up here never really had a bumpy face or oily skin just my main area was my t-zone so I use this some days this is what I do to do my hair remover or er, this is what I use for hair removal on my face as far as my chin. Upper lip nair, I shave my chin, I pluck hairs, and I use this um, edge sensitive skin. Um, so far, no, so good. I don't have any bumps or anything like, anything like that. And I used to be a Mary Kay representative. And so I used to use like the Mary Kay kit um, to wash my face with. And I still use it every now and then. I like the way it makes my face feel when it's done. It gives it like that waxy, squeaky, clean feel. And then I also love to use this. This is um, a charcoal mask. Deep cleaning charcoal mask. This is also a Mary Kay product. And I like to use this after using Nair because people say Nair it has cancer causing agents. But if you barbecue on the grill... It also has cancer causing agents. So, you know, you live and you let live. And so, that's what I have on now. The charcoal de detox of um, deep cleaning charcoal mask. It's been a while since I did one of these. But since I was playing around in the mirror this morning, I was like, let me go ahead. And so, you can see, maybe you can see. The areas that it's really detoxifying. Like my, uh, like I said, I never really had an acne prone face when I was in high school and still sometimes as adult. My T-zone, just this area here is where I had a lot of bumps. And sometimes I would get little fine bumps around my lips too. But it's working. You see, um, see how the spots is in my nose? And it wipes off really easy. I think they tell you not to put it on your eyebrows, but I did anyway. And so, we'll wash this off, and then we will moisturize. I bought this Pond's cream before to moisturize my face with. And um, the one that I bought kind of like burned my skin, so I stopped using it. So, when I was in Walmart the other day, I purchased another one for skin tone. But one of the things that I use on my face, literally, is this. This is the Cocoa Butter Formula Moisturizing Body Oil. I use this on my skin, on my face as a moisturizer. And this came from, I think, Family Dollar, but you probably can get it anywhere they sell. Um, and then I use this sometimes, Vitamin E, as a moisturizer. Beauty oil. That's it. Um, I am going to use 
that Pond's cream to see how it worked. This is my first time using this particular one. So I'm going to rinse this off my face and I'll be back to moisturize. See, look, I don't know if y'all can see the impurities in my nose. See the little dots? That stick out the most. That's it. That's it, y'all. Y'all, I feel like my teeth is kind of yellow. And um, this is the toothpaste that I use. Crest Pro Health. Clean Mint. But I think I'm going to get a box of baking soda. Because back in the day, my mom used to clean her, whiten her teeth with just plain baking soda. So I'm going to try that. And see how it worked for me. I'm going to go old school. If it don't broke, if it ain't broke, go and fix it. And then, oh yeah, I was in Target the other day. And I, I found these um, Grin Double Twice to Clean. My teeth right here, because this tooth is gone, it literally has caused my teeth to shift. And when I first got that teeth pulled, they had asked me if I wanted to get an implant. I never got implants. I was supposed to, but I didn't. And so my teeth has shift, and I've always had a gap. But for some reason right here, it's gotten really closer. So I find a lot of food always getting stuck in there every time I eat. And so I used to use the Dentac. The Dentac, I would get these from Walmart, which is very thin. I mean, they'll work. This is, no, Plackens. This is the Plackens brand that I would get it from Walmart. But I saw these in Target, and I love these. They are great. GrinOralCare.com. These things are amazing. I love them. I was just showing them to my husband. I like the thickness of them. They like, and you, feel, and you know how you hold something in your hand and you feel like you're holding something? It has the double um, floss, and then you can fold this out and pick your teeth. How about that? So, I pick my teeth before I brush them. I do. And that's it, and that's all. I'm gonna wash this off my face, and um, I'll show you the Pond's moisturizer once I go to apply it. Alrighty, beautifuls. And y'all, let me show y'all this. I am going to go and find me a lock repair kit, because look at this. Look at my lot, y'all. See how thin that is? That is literally thinning out. And it's always been a small lot. And I always felt like it should have never been a lot. But you know, the hair around our edges is fine anyway. And it's been a while since I have had a, a professional lot retwist. And we going on three years in July. Three years in July. I was like, maybe we can just make this one lot. But look how big it'll be. That thing will be a wick. But anyway, I've been watching videos. I'm going to learn how to repair this. I kind of watched them. And what they did was they pulled this up. And they matched it with that hair right there. And then they crocheted it. But I need to get the concept. I'm going to get it, y'all. I'm going to show y'all when I get it. I would not lose my lock. <laughs> I also got a um, review to do for y'all for um, Yanni Best. So that'll be coming up too as well. Which I probably will put that review in the beginning of this vlog. And y'all, if y'all are not channel members, y'all get a membership because we're getting closer to opening day of the cafe. And I want y'all to see that journey with me. I want y'all to see it, but that's for members only. But anyway, y'all, I'll be back with the moisturizer. Alrighty, baby. Mask is off. Oh, Lord, baby. 
grateful I'll always be Now my face look good I'm pleased with the look It feels clean but it doesn't feel fresh So what I'm gonna do is I rinsed it with like lukewarm water but I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with some cold water now. Cause I'm always there. Yeah, I don't know if y'all heard that song by Dorinda Clark. But that thing always touches my spirit. And it always touches my heart, y'all. It makes me miss my mom even the more. Today's devotional was talking about truth and lies. Truth and lies. All right, this is the pawn Clarence B. Dark spot correcting cream. Even skin tone in two to four weeks. So I realized that on my jaw, I had some dark areas. Not too dark, but when I pulled it like that, I'm like, okay, it is some dark spots there. On this side too, dark spots. So I wanna put some moisture back into my face. So I'm gonna first um, put some of this oil. The cocoa butter oil, not a lot, just a little bit. And y'all, this dries up so good. Y'all, I realize that I'm aging. And I feel like, y'all, we be in denial. Good thing about this, you can put it on our lips. I'm gonna get a nice lip scrub too. I used to use Satin Hands by Mary Kay. Y'all remember Satin Hands and Satin Lips? And so I'm gonna get a little bit of this cream, not a lot. I'm gonna rub it in. But it don't smell bad. There it is. We are good and moisturized for the day. I won't do this every day, y'all. I won't. I will wash <laughs> and moisturize my face, but a mask, y'all. You know, I don't know that every day. Y'all, I'm gonna brush my teeth and I'll see y'all in the next clip. All right, y'all, my face is clean. I am long moisturizing my locks. I showed y'all that lock that I need to repair. We're gonna figure it out and we're gonna repair it together. Watch and see. Watch and see. Watch and see. We're gonna repair this lock together. It ain't gonna be the dead well. I'm gonna go look for a lock repair kit at the beauty supply store. Stuck. Oh, there. That's an edge cone. I just wanna, cause that's the base of the lock right there. So it's a nice little foundation. The hair just breaking. And so what I, I think I've been aggravating it to be honest. So I'm gonna leave that down. I don't wanna pull and tug on it. But 
block. This is water, aloe vera, juice. And then I like to use this too. This is a braid spray. Um, African Best Braid Sheen, with, Sheen Spray with Conditioner. Nourishes that nourishing anti-breakage formula. Treats dry, irritated scalp, leaves hair with their super sheen. With patinol and keratin. So when I used to wear my hair and braids a lot, I would use this too. Alright, so... My oils, jojoba, closest to the natural scalp oil, and avocado oil. Spray your hair down with water, and the oil seals in the moisture. And so I use that. A little bit of the um, avocado, a little bit of the jojoba, and then little people be like, "Oh, why well, you put too much product on your locks?" My locks are not that mature, but we're going on three years, so I feel safe with washing my own locks now and moisturizing them, just like that. I don't know if I'm going to style it or put a hat on it or what, but it is what it is. I see y'all after I get dressed. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Hey, y'all. <laughs> What's next clip? I'm dressed already. I am working on my boots because my boots got a stain on them. And um, this is what I use. It's a suede and new box cleaning kit. On my Timberlands, y'all seen my Timberlands before, I think. It was a spot on them jokers. Yeah, I got big feet, y'all. This is the Hiker, it's 11 and men. And it's a, it was a spot on the top of them. Damn, she gone. She gone, no, it was right there, it's still a little. If you rub it, you probably can see it. See it right there? Got a camo shirt today. My regular blue jeans that I usually wear. Again, either one or the two. Because I ain't got but two pair. I got more pants, y'all, but I only got two pair of jeans. So this is what we're wearing. Today we are headed to Cisco. I don't know how many of you guys are in the food industry or have seen like the food, the Cisco food trucks or whatever. Um, if you are a channel member, then you're already aware that we are doing separate vlogs on opening day to my cafe. But these are my behind the scenes uh, vlogs. And so there is a cash and carry there is a cash and carry um, Cisco store. There's a cash and carry Cisco store about an hour away from me. And so that's where we're headed to. Today, so that we can work on menu pricing. It's been a tedious process, but all is well. Um, I'm getting ready to end this vlog with this portion. Well, tonight I'm going to end it with a product review for Yanni Best. And then um, we're going to test it out tonight and let you guys know how it is in the morning. So I think I'm going to wear my camel. I'm doing something. And people see your jacket and be like, what? What's up, chef? Not that I need the acknowledgement um, of me being a chef, but it's just the, I'm on a mission and this just so like confirms, you know, 
it's a personal thing. You wouldn't know unless you feel what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? But again, it's a personal thing. You got to be all right with it. We do need to stop to a beauty supply store and find a lock repair kit. And y'all, I also need to find me another lock cap. I mean, another uh, camo cap. Uh, y'all, I love camo. I really do. All right, y'all. That's it. We leaving this lock out because she's struggling. And I don't want to be pulling on it. I kind of want to put it in a ponytail. I don't know what to do with it, y'all. I just know I don't want to lose it. So maybe I should pull it back behind my ear. And leave it there, maybe. I don't know. That's not folly around with it. But anyway... I see y'all tonight. We about to go over this review for this. Um, where is it? Yeah. Package. This is Yari Best Shana Wake Up and Be Radiant Hair Treatment. It is a bonnet. So we're going to do this later on in the vlog. But for now, we out of here. This is. Good morning, lifers and world changers. How are we? Bacon egg bites. I'm not impressed, y'all. I just spent $11.80 at Starbucks. Y'all, I'm gonna master these egg bites. I promise not y'all. I am working on business stuff today. Again. Uh, I need a calculator. And I don't have one. So we'll get ready to go in the Dollar Tree. And I was gonna sit in Starbucks and just work on my computer and stuff like that but I don't want to I want to go home and I want to get comfortable and I want to just be nestled probably in my bed so I'll probably fix my bed up and I'll probably um stack up my pillows and grab my laptop and get in the bed and I'm gonna dissect my menu one item at a time and I thought that I was coming on here and I was going to do a review with you guys but I never did do the review to even close out this vlog so what I'm going to do I didn't stick to my word like I said I was going to do I should have asked for some shavacha Lord thank you for no shavacha you're about to see for Christ's amen so I am at Dollar Tree right now. And so I want to get my egg bites before I go in there. I'm only going in here for a calculator. That is it. Yes, my cell phone has a calculator on it, but I don't want my cell phone in my hand. Because I don't know about y'all, but I get distracted easily. So, if I know that my, my computer also has a calculator on it, but I don't want to have that in my hand either. You know what? I almost want to crank my car up and go to Walmart. Because they probably got little winky dink calculators in here. And I need a good calculator. Because now, we really getting down to business. So, I hope you guys are having a great day. I need to go to the hair store that I didn't go to yesterday. 
I'm thinking about selling platters on Saturday since everybody was asking. So, if we do, it will be turkey wings, macaroni and cheese, and garbage. I would not be doing yams. <laughs> mm -mm. We're not doing yams. And so, I will run around and get that stuff tomorrow. At the butt crack of dawn. Which I try to avoid. Doing stuff when my husband is home. So Saturdays may be a better day for me. And a lot of people ask for platters on Saturday. So we're going back to the hilltop. And we're doing t-shirts again. And we're doing platters. Turkey wings. Baked macaroni and cheese. We're going to do some um, regular turkey wings. And we're going to do some barbecue ones. Yep. That's what we're going to do, y'all. So, that's what it's going to be like. I don't know if y'all ever had bacon and rice before, but that's what they look like. They're really expensive. And I should have asked for my receipt. I realized that their prices have gone up. And with that being said, I need to know what competitors are charging so I can know what I'm charging. And there's always the fee for convenience. So, and what it is. But anyway, I don't like this. Oop. I don't. And it's made with almond milk. Uh oh. Wait a minute. I got a little bit. I should have got an extra shot of espresso instead of extra caramel. Anyway, y'all, let me get in here and get out because I'm just rambling, okay? We may have two trips coming up. One Georgia and one Virginia. That's May and June. Within two weeks of each other. But we'll let you know. I love y'all. Mm -hmm. And I'll talk to y'all later because it's 1032 and time is money. And time is one thing you can't ever get back. And I got so much space, I need to empty on my phone. It looks like I only have seven minutes and 43 seconds, so it's gonna stop anyway.